Another awesome new feature um, in, in Xwitness version 4.1 is a brand new embedded uh, Chromium browser. So um, I know the browser has been useful for some integration so far, but now um, with the capabilities of the new browser, um, you can basically use and do integrations with any of the online uh, web services. And that includes even, even services that are serving up video. So if you wanted to open a third party uh, video interface inside your NX Witness uh, to view video, you could, right? Um, so let's take a look at the browser, right? Um, you know, pulling in CNN uh, to see all the happy news uh, about COVID-19 these days um, in the U.S. and abroad. Um, not a great time, but hey, I can keep up on the news here. Um, of course, I can combine that with my cameras, right? Um, you know, watch in the kitchen and the front door, I can resize it. Um, I can do all these kind of uh, uh, things that you would expect to be able to do uh, with the browser. Um, the other thing is it will actually allow me to log in and kind of remember my login now. So if I've logged into Google, um, then I can pull in my Gmail. Um, I can pull in, um, you know, different uh, interfaces um, and, and I can sign in and keep my uh, account active across um, all the browser windows as well. Um, I can go to YouTube, um, which is cool. Um, so here's the Network Optics YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, I highly suggest you do. We've got a lot of uh, cool videos up. Um, we've got Works with Next webinars. We've got solution webinars. Every time our guys do a, a webinar out in the field uh, around the world, and we've got those up if you're interested in going up and knowing what's going on in the security industry in different parts of the world. Um, watch those solutions webinars. Um, we've got integrations. Uh, videos like reef cam. Usually early, 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 early. So you can see here. Um, I'm, I'm so in this case, let's the reef cam video. I can control the audio for it. Um, I can um, watch the video, right? Um, I can go full screen with it as well if I want to, um, and it'll take over uh, the whole screen there. So there's really a lot I can do uh, in terms of the the, the browser itself. Um, really great for um, soft integrations. Um, leaving uh, notes um, for your colleagues, like, hey, how you doing? Oh, hope you have a good day. Or, or check camera for footage. Uh, 9923 for incident loading bay, or whatever it may be, right? I mean, there's all sorts of stuff you can do in terms of. Uh, using that browser um, and sharing uh, information or integrating information from third-party web-based systems uh, into your interface and your layouts. So it's a really cool. Um, it, it enables some other cool features that we have in 4.1. Um, one of them is uh, in the camera settings. Um, if you watch the push notifications, I'll go over this briefly. Uh, or sorry, the analytics ROI, I'll go over this briefly. Um, if I want to go and look at like a specific camera's web page, um, now, instead of having to uh, VPN into the office or the facility where NX Witness is running, um, I can just go to the camera, go to the web page, um, and I can click on the setup and I can change camera settings and everything um, that may not be available uh, directly in the interface um, because maybe they're new features and haven't been integrated via Onvif for whatever reason. Uh, they're not available. Um, I can still go proxy into my camera web page. Um, and then I'll uh, control my camera settings uh, remotely, um, which is really cool in and of itself. And all this has been enabled by this new embedded Chromium browser. Now there are some, still some limitations. Um, you can download files. Um, you can do most things. Um, there are some limitations and we want you guys to help us find them all. Um, so if you do find it, um, then you should go to our support portal if you find any issues. Um, and you should click on the um, community section here um, and you should uh, tell us about some bugs, right? Um, you just click on the thing that you're having a bug with, in this case, in the NX desktop, and you can post up here, hey, I'm seeing this problem with the browser. Um, and that'll help, help us to address any fixes uh, that you guys discover out there. So, um, embedded browser version 4.1, very cool. Check it out.